Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafting Me Easy. For this tutorial, we'll be putting water slide on mugs. Stand by. So what you'll need for this project are mugs. You can purchase these from the Dollar Tree. They come in black and white. So you can pick, um, you can actually use the black mugs for um, water slide if you wanted to. The color will pop on there. So you can purchase the black ones if you want to, or you can just purchase the white ones. It's, up, it's totally up to you. They're a dollar, get them from Dollar Tree. Um, you'll also need some clear coat. This is triple thick crystal clear glaze. This is the first time I'll be using this clear coat. Um, reading the bottle or the can, it says that um, just one coat equals up to three coats of other clear spray finishes. So I'm gonna try this out and see how I like it. Um, and then of course you'll need water slide. I purchased this from Amazon. It came with 20 sheets. And this is the inkjet printer version because I do have a inkjet. I have a laser jet, but it only does black and white. Um, but my inkjet, of course, it does color. So I typically use the inkjet um, water slide. Like I said, they have it in two versions, laser and inkjet. If you purchase a laser jet or you're using laser jet water slide, you do not have to um, clear coat it. And we'll get into that later. This is the clear water slide. They also have white water slide, which means that the backing, when you take it off, it's still um, white. It has a white backing versus a see-through backing. For this project, I'll be using the clear water slide. Um, you'll also need a tape measure just to kind of measure um, how, you know, the length and the width of what you want your image to be. And I think that's all that you kind of need. Um, yeah. So, of course, oh, of course you'll need an image. Like, the otherwise. <laughs> like, what's the point? The, um... Water slide on the mugs does come out really cute. I've used it um, to do Christmas mugs last year and it came out really nice. It adhered to the mug very nice. I did put it in the oven after I was done, but you know, I'll get to those steps um, at, you know, as we go along. So for the first step, you'll need a image and um, you can, it's just basically, if you have something like a SVG or a PNG, in your computer you just kind of want to measure it to the length and width that you want to put on your mug so it's really no real reason to kind of go to the um, computer unless you really want to see that just let me know down in the um, comments below and i can show you but it's just basically just uploading an image to your um cricut design space or your silhouette and um, hitting print, you'll send it to the printer. You do not necessarily need to have your Cricut machine cut it out. Um, so you don't really necessarily need to use your Cricut design space unless you wanted to. You could just upload it into like a, a Word or um, PowerPoint, something that you can manage to um, size your image to make it fit on your mug. And then you'll just print it out, cut it, with regular scissors, or if you wanted it to be really precise, you can put it through your Cricut machine and have it cut, um, but you'll need to use like Cricut Design Space, or if you have a silhouette, you'll need to use um, sil you know, your silhouette um, studio um, software. Um, I typically do not put it through the my Cricut machine to cut it, um, because basically it's just cutting around the image, and I can do that with scissors. Even though I can't really cut very straight, it's I can make an oval or a circle. So, um, first, you'll just kind of take your cup. You'll measure the width of your cup. Well, not the cup, but like how you want your image to be. So, if you want it kind of like in the middle here, you'll just kind of measure to see about how wide you need your image to be. And then you'll just measure... Um, like this to see how long you want it to be or how you want it to fit on your um, mug. So that's pretty much all you do with the tape measure and the mug. At this time, you just kind of sit those to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put print out my images and I'll be right back.
All right, so we are back. So first and foremost, uh, when you go to print out your images onto your water slide paper, make sure you have it in the printer correctly. I accidentally put it in uh, face up when it was supposed to be face down so it printed on the back so it's about to be a mess when i go to um put it in water because i know this side will go ahead will probably bleed i might just spray this side just so it doesn't happen um but you know put it into your printer the correct way um so and then also try to use up the whole sheet so if you're using cricut design space use this it's, i think it's six by nine use that space up so i probably could have fit another image in there um, but it was, you know, I was just like, okay, um, whatever. I had my, what is it? Five images. I'm fine. So just make sure you kind of use up the, um, whole sheet. Cause I really do wish I would have put another image there before I hit print. Um, so once it's all printed out, you kind of let it dry for a little bit. Um, you use your clear spray. So read the instructions for your clear spray to see, um, how long it takes to dry, how long, I mean, how many coats you have to spray. This also comes with instructions to tell you how to use it. And it is too straight to the point. Uh, you print it, you spray it, you cut it, you put water on it, you put it on your cup, you put it in the oven. That's basically the six steps you do. The most important step is the spray. So this says, um, to spray what? Allow to dry for 60 seconds, then apply two more coats. Three coats in total, let the paper dry for a few minutes. Um, depending on your spray, you want to spray according to your um, can. But you don't want to let this dry overnight, otherwise it will bleed. So, I mean, this is a very important step. So, what I typically do is I spray when I use the regular. Like I said, I'm just going to use this as it says... Uh, with one, um, let me see, what is it? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to, I might not use this one because, um, because it says allow to dry for 24 hours before handling to avoid fingerprints. I don't know. I don't, because I don't want to waste my paper, so I may not use this. I may just go out in my garage and get my regular clear spray. But um, what I typically do is I spray once, I wait 60 seconds, I spray again, I wait another 60 seconds, I spray again, I wait um, about three minutes, and then I go ahead and use it. When I have done it that way, I don't have any issues with it cracking, I don't have any issues with it bleeding. Um, I don't have really any issues with it. Now, when I have done it, when I spray, um, like, spray once, wait five minutes, spray again, wait five minutes, spray again, wait five minutes. So, that's 15 minutes in total. And then I um, let it dry overnight and then I go to use it. My ink bleeds, my image cracks, I have difficulties with it. But when I do the first way, like 60 seconds, 60 seconds, 60 seconds, wait three minutes and then use it, I don't have any issues. So that is what I'm going to do. Read um, the, the instructions on how to handle your water slide paper on the particular brand that you purchase to um, avoid any issues with it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this in the garage and spray it, let it dry for a few minutes, and then I'm going to come back and cut it out by hand, and then we'll get to um, applying it to the cup. Oh, and I forgot. If you're using, um, you only spray it if you're using inkjet water slide paper um, because it doesn't um, seal into the paper. If you are using a laser jet paper and a printer, you do not have to clear coat your images. You can just cut them out and put them directly um, in the water and put it directly on your cup. Only if you're using inkjet do you have to spray and seal your images. So I just wanted to put that out there really quick. I believe I um, talked about it a little bit in the beginning, but I just wanted to just let you know um, if you're using laser jet, you don't have to seal. If you're using ink jet, you have to seal. Otherwise, your image will just bleed off of your paper and you'll have to start all over again. All right, so I just wanted to show you the other ones. Don't mind the uh, paint all on it. Sometimes I put my cups on top of the paint can and spray them. So that's why they're all messy. But anyway, 
This is a semi-gloss clear coat from uh, Rust-Oleum. Um, this one dries in about, um, I think, 20 minutes or 10 minutes. So, like I said, just read your can. And then this is a matte finish clear coat. Um, I use this sometimes. And this one, I think, dries in about 15 minutes to touch. Let me see. Yeah, it dries in 10 to 15 minutes. So, just kind of read the um, can that you're going to use. And this is a matte finish, so it will be kind of dull. This is a semi-gloss um, clear coat. And then they have, um, you know, like high-gloss clear. So, just kind of purchase the one that you want to purchase to use. Um, but make sure you read the instructions um, very closely before you use it. Okay, so everything has been cut out. It has been printed out. It has been sealed. Everything is pretty much ready to go. Um, the next step is to just put it into the water. I use like a lukewarm water. Um, it does not state um, on here how warm the water should be. So I typically use like a lukewarm um, water and it doesn't really give me any issues. All right, so just wipe down your cup, get your image, this um, particular water slide states um, that you submerge the decal for about 30 to 60 seconds and then you remove it from the water. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it in the water and you see it curled up. If it curls up, I don't know if you can see it curled up. If it curls up, just kind of lay it out flat. Don't, you know, curl it up too much and just wait the 60 seconds. You can edge it off a little bit to see if it's ready because um, sometimes it can come off in short, a shorter period, um, but you'll just kind of ease it just a little bit to see if it um, is ready to come off. So I'll have this submerged in the water for the time limit and then I'll be back. All right, so I submerged it in the water, but the middle of the... Um, water slide was still a little adhered to the backing so I just put it back in the water for a little bit longer um, so that can come off. Um, I accidentally mirrored my image that is why I put a big sign at the beginning to not mirror your image so do not be like me. Um, so in a second you'll see why I say do not be like me. So I'm putting it I had to put it on the cup backwards so face down versus um, face up to get the water slide to be on the cup because I mirrored my image and it was words. And if I put it on the correct way, it would not have, um, it wouldn't work basically because I just messed it up. So what I did was just put it face down on the cup. And as you see right here, I'm just peeling the um, water slide off of the backing and if you accidentally mirror your image, just you can do this, but just like be really slow with it because you don't want to accidentally tear or rip your water slide. So I just had to kind of peel it off a little bit, adhere it to the cup, and then peel very slowly off of the backing. Otherwise, it would have been a mess and it wouldn't have worked. And then right here, I'm just taking my... Um, silicone spatula with a little water to release some of the air bubbles and get some of the water from underneath of the water slide because when you um, put it in the oven if you don't get all the bubbles out it will not um, you'll see it in your cup and I'll show you what happened at the end to one of my cups because I thought I got all of the um, water from underneath of it but I did not um, you can purchase those silicone brushes from Amazon they came three in a pack, or you can purchase um, them from the dollar store. The dollar store ones have like a pink tip to it, um, but it still works the same. It's a silicone brush, so um, it, it works the same. The ink, because it looks like there's a little bit of ink. I'm just kind of showing where it looks like it's ink. That came from the backing because um, I... Um, put images on the other side by accident so that's where the ink came from it was the ink from my um water slide so i just wanted to just um do a voice over for that really quickly because i had completely messed that up and i just wanted to set set it straight do not mirror your image if you do you'll have to 
put your uh, water slide face down and then pull it up and that can get tricky because you can accidentally rip your water slide all right so this one has been sitting in for 60 seconds and i moved it around a little bit just to see if it was ready and it is so i'm going to okay this one is going to give me a very good example of how it's supposed to go so you're going to just put it on there like this and then you basically slide the white part out some better light there we go you just slide the backing away and that's it that's it that is how it's supposed to be done so the first one was it worked but it's that wasn't how it was supposed to go and then this one showed you exactly how it's supposed to come off of the paper and just slide onto the cup and then you're just basically going to do the same thing you're just going to put your spatula you can also use your finger but i like to use the silicone silicone spatula and I just put some extra water on there just to help it slide a little bit because you want to make sure you get all of your bubbles out because if you don't get your bubbles out and it dries that is basically how it's going to dry so this has like a little ridge in it in her little fro so or her hair and so I'm just trying to move that out this is the final of the cups they are fresh out of the oven I let them cool down for a little bit I put them in the oven for on well on 230 degrees for 13 minutes the direction says between 10 and 15 so I chose 13 just you know it depends on how um, hot your um, oven heats up so just kind of go based off of that um, this one it looks fine on this side but on this side I didn't um, get all of the air from underneath of the water slide so when it dried it didn't you know see it hit it um, had the air bubble still in there so then when I put it in the oven it just made more um, air bubbles so be careful when you um, are placing your water slide make sure that you are getting all of the air out from underneath of the water slide before it dries up or you'll have this issue so it's fine these cups will go in my cabinet <laughs> so um, it's fine but if you're you know trying to do something with all of your um, Dollar Tree mugs and you want to sell them just be really careful about getting the air from underneath of the um, water slide before it dries and before you put it in the oven um, what else so this is another way other than vinyl to um, make a Dollar Tree mug look not so much a dollar <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed the content of this video if you did Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified when i drop new videos um i will 
probably do a video on uh, white water slides so you can see what it looks like on a black mug um, and then see how it looks on the white mug as well so you know look out for that video it should be coming um, probably later on this month or next month but um, that's it for today y'all I hope y'all enjoyed what you saw and if you have any um, questions or any suggestions I saw a few and I'm, I'm slowly working on getting those together um, so be on the lookout for um, some of the videos that you've already suggested. So I am working um, behind the scenes to get that done. So um, if you have any more suggestions, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. Um, all right, y'all take care and until next time.